Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 26 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday. Appreciate you tuning in today. If you caught Monday's episode, we were looking at Lightroom, specifically how to create smart collections inside the library module. Today we're looking at Photoshop. I've got some quick tips for using gradients with a layer mask. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see on the screen in front of you, I've got a picture of my daughter taken last Halloween. And what I'm going to do is use the clouds filter to add some atmosphere effects to this photo. So I'm going to start by creating a new layer, labeling it clouds. And I'll go to the filter menu under render, and then I'll just render out the clouds filter. So this gives me a nice little effect. And what I'll do is add a layer mask. So I'm going to click the layer mask icon. And remember, white reveals the layer and black conceals it. So I'm gonna pick the gradient tool so I can fade those clouds in and out. Let's take a look. You can see here, I'll just grab the gradient tool. It's G for gradient. And as I drag from the top of the image down towards the bottom, this will actually fade the clouds out in the photo. I'm gonna go ahead and Alt or Option click the actual mask on the clouds layer so you can see what that gradient looks like. Now I want you to see if I drag from left to right, this creates a new gradient and this is what it looks like in the image. And in fact, every time I change the direction of how I drag, it creates a new gradient. So I've got different effects that I can apply, but the main thing I wanna emphasize here is Currently, I can only get the gradient to go from one direction. So a question was asked by a viewer, is it possible to use a gradient with a layer mask, but have it come from multiple directions in the layer? And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. What we need to do is not change the gradient, right? We need to change the gradient properties. So I'm going to reset the mask and fill it with white. And what I'll do is go up to my options for the gradient tool. And currently, I've been dragging from black to white. If you look real close, I'm actually going to go from black to transparency, right? My foreground color to transparency. And now, once again, I'll drag from top to bottom. This starts to fade it out. But notice now, I can also drag from the sides, and I can get a different look. And if I show you, that's a little bit too far, I'll undo that. If I show you what the gradient looks like, or the mask, on the clouds layer, notice now I've got this rounded gradient, because I can actually drag it from multiple directions. So notice I can even drag it from the bottom, and now I've got it released on the bottom. If I Option or Alt-click, you can see now I've just got the clouds going right across hey, her waist and torso. So that's a way you can use gradients with a layer mask, Remember to just do foreground color, in this case black, to transparency, and now you can drag the gradient from multiple directions. So my name's AJ Wood. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Always appreciate it when you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Remember, you can leave me questions. You can request your video responses on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. You can also leave me comments here on the YouTube channel. So appreciate you guys being here, and I'll see you again on Friday.